Hi all! Uh, I'm back with a new video, a second video, um, and this time it's about my currently inked pens. So I keep about six pens inked normally for journaling, writing letters, for use at work. I'm lucky enough to be able to use fountain pens at work. However, currently I'm at nine pens inked. Nine is a little too much for me, so uh, I want to share these before uh, I was going to clean them. And also, I want to try and decide which ones to clean in this video. So, uh, I'll be sharing you what I have ink, uh, what ink I have in these pens. Um, I'll try to give you a nice close-up of all the pens. So we're going to change shots in a little bit. Um, and I'll talk about how I got it, or what I like about it, or what kind of name it is. Um, but you'll see that in a moment when I change the shots. So. Nine pens to go through. Very excited. Okay, there we are again. Um, as you can see, the pens are right here in the corner. Those are the pens I will write with in this video, and those are the pens that are currently inked. Um, the first one I want to start with is a Wingsung 699. This pen is sort of a blatant copy of uh, a Pilot A23. Uh, I, I don't know if I feel good about buying one because I, of course, support a company that makes copies, but I was really curious about this pen. And to be fair, it is a very, very decent writer. And having a vacuum filler at $25 or $30 is not a bad deal. Uh, this is currently inked with Yamabuto, Hiroshizuku Yamabuto. And Wingsung 699. I think this is a fine nib. Um, and the ink is Iro Shizuku Yamabudo. This nib is just a very stiff nib. Um, it's not super smooth, but it's very decent. Um, I would say. If you like a super smooth experience, maybe take some micro mesh to this um, or switch the nibs. I think regular number six nibs fit in this, so you could try that out. Uh, this one, I think I'm going to unink. I have this, I've had, had this inked for a while, um, and I kind of want to change. So I think this is going on the uh, unink pile. Here we have the pen that I've mentioned before, and to be fair, I still don't really know the name of. Um, I know it's a Birmingham Pens pen. It is the Finnish Miami Vice, but I don't know the model name. I will put the link in the description because um, I want to give, give credit where credit's due, basically. So this is a very nice pen. It is very big. If you see it in my hand, you can see that there's a long stretch. I would never post this pen. Uh, I got this pen with three different nibs, and I don't particularly know which nib this is. Uh, there's no marking on there. I think it's the fine, not 100% sure. So, let's go on to the writing sample. It's Miami Vice something. I'm just writing Miami Vice down, because I don't know. This pen had a shimmer ink in it previously, and I think there might still be some particles in there, so it needs a good clean. The ink is actually Aurora and Klinger ink. I'm not going to try to pronounce the German way. It's Solferino. I love this ink, but this pen is really due for a clean. So that's what's going to happen. Lovely finish though. It is gorgeous. Next up is one of the pens that I'm currently loving a lot. This is the Pelican M600. It is a violet uh, special edition of the 600. Uh, this pen is very pretty. However, I'm still going to unink it because the ink in it is too dark for my taste. Um, this is Diamine Purple Rain. Uh, 
And um, it is a nice ink. It sheens very nicely, but um, I don't know. I want more uh, pizzazz. So I might actually put sulfurino in this um, because I think that would be actually quite a nice match. Uh, it is a very nice nib. It is lovely. It is very stiff. Modern pelican nibs are generally very, very rigid. So this is also going to be uninked. Um, let's move on to a vintage pelican then. This is a vintage pelly. Uh, I got this off eBay. I was lucky enough to get it in good condition. Uh, this is a uh, pelican 140. It is very small, uh, at, but it's very cute and it writes wonderfully. Uh, as you can see, it still has the sticker of the nib size on there, um, which is always kind of special to me. This has a gold nib. It is uh, not a stiff nib. So there's the difference between um, new and old pelican. <coughs> Ivy, don't do that. Pelican. This is a pen I would normally post. Pelican 140. I'm gonna try and get my dog to be quiet first. Okay. So Pelican 140, um, this ink is diamine. I never know if it's diamine or diamine, but I always say diamine. Bloody absinthe. Um, I think that's a German exclusive. I'm not 100% sure. I got it at a German uh, online store called Seitz Kreuznach. Um, it's, it's a nice store. They have lots of uh, inkies. As you can see, this is not a stiff nib. So normal writing, like that. And then if you put some pressure into it, it's not even that much pressure. It just really likes to flex. It's not by any means, I would say, a flex nib. This is just a semi-flexible nib. Uh, it's a soft nib. It's a joy to use, so this is gonna stay inked. Then the next one um, is also sort of a semi-flex. It is much bigger. It is the Pilot Custom Heritage 912. This has an FA nib, which is why it is semi-flex. Normal uh, nibs of the Pilot Custom Heritage 912 do not have flex, but this does, and it is a lovely pen. I have the Soft Fine by Platinum. It is incomparable to this. This is so much softer and so much nicer to write with, um, like, I know the, um, the Platinum is much cheaper. I would say just go for this one, save up a little longer if you really want that soft experience. The ink is Diamine Communication Breakdown. And these uh, to the pen and the ink don't really play all that well together. So this likes to dry up on the nib a lot. And you see here it had a skip. It does it a lot when writing normally. So I'm gonna unink this and possibly re-ink it with a different ink because I do really like this pen. Um, and previously I had a sailor ink in this and it worked really well. So I think it's just the ink that does not match this pen very well. I love this look, by the way. I love flat tops, so this is perfect for me. But it is getting a clean. This is a Wixung 698. This is inked with a shimmer ink, so I'm gonna roll it around a little bit so the shimmer moves. This is a Wixung pen that I put a pilot nib on. I'm not sure if you can see that. I don't think my camera likes focusing in the middle of filming. Uh, nope, it does not. I can try to manually focus, but I don't think it's worth it. It's just a pilot nib. It came from, I think from a Kakuno. No, from a Pilot Metropolitan. So, wing, wing sung. 
698, medium, pilot nib, diamine, again, peacock flare. Keeping this inked, haven't had this inked for very long. Also, I love shimmerings. Don't put them in any expensive pens, but cheap pens are fine. Let's move this notebook over. Hopefully it is still in proper focus. This is all new to me guys, so I'm trying, but I'm not perfect. Okay. This is a Wingsung 3013. Wingsung is my favorite cheap pen brand. Um, they do tend to copy some other pens, which makes me feel weird. Um, but they're still really good. This is a Wingsung 3013 fine nib. Uh, this is going to be uninked because I've had it inked for so long. It's been inked since August and it's now October. Um, the ink is Blackstone. Sydney. Harbor Blue. Lovely sheeny ink. Very dark, but it is a lovely teal with red sheen. So, yeah. This is also a copy, I believe, of a Twist Fox 700. Um, second to last. Um, this is a pen I got last week. This pen was bought at a pen show. Um, I'm from uh, the Netherlands. There's a pen show in Tilburg every year. This is uh, what I bought there. It is a Mont Blanc with a hooded nib. I have no idea what the type, this, what actual pen this is. Um, I could have asked the gentleman who sold it to me probably, but I forgot. So, yeah. Uh, if anyone knows, please let me know. I love this. I don't know, it's, it's very vain, but I do love the snow cap on the top. So, Mont Blanc. A question mark, question mark, because I have no idea. This is a very stiff, fine nib. This is a true fine in my experience. This stays inked. I got it last, um, last week, so I have just inked it. I don't want to keep it inked. Last but not least, the pen, that was my first gold nib ever, the Lamy 2K. Um, I have a habit of buying 2Ks on eBay for cheap. So this is not the first 2K I got, this is the second one I got. The first one I uh, shipped off to uh, a certain gentleman in the States. This is the second one I got. I kept this one because this nib is much wetter and I like wet writing nibs. Of course I could have... Um, uh, adjusted the nib, but I'm not very good with that. So I was like, I'll keep the wet one and send off the drier one. Um, I love this design. I love the way it writes. It's just a great pen. Um, and if you ever have the choice between a Pilot, a Capless, or a 2K, I love both, but this is just a better pen for longer writing sessions. So if you're into journaling, Please choose this one. So Lamy 2000, medium nib. Still, I still want another 2K with a fine nib, uh, just for work purposes. This lovely, lovely ink is Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. It's like a berry, berry-ish purple, and I love it. It's so pretty. If you ever get a 2K and think it's actually scratchy, you might be rotating the nib. This is the smoothest pen I have ever owned or used. So, yeah, I love this. Love, love, love. Okay, so let's tally up on the playmat. These four will stay inked. So the Lamy, the Wingsong 698, the Pelican 140, the Mont Blanc of unknown origins. And then these are getting cleaned, but will not necessarily leave my rotation. Birmingham pens, Miami Vice something, the Wingsung 699, uh, the Peli M600, Pilot Custom Heritage 912, and the Wingsung 3013. And that's it.
thank you guys for watching i hope 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 that this video is um somewhat in um in focus otherwise you will probably not see it but um we'll see thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time